What's up, fams? We got to talk about this. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that sub button and shout out to my gang, gang, gang. We got to talk about this. Now, Uzi, what is you doing? Now, you guys know, man, Uzi, little Uzi Vert, he's been on the clown sauce the past few years, man. He's been sipping it. There's been a few situations that have left us like, Uzi, what is you doing, man? Is this what's popping? Is devil worshiping the new wave? Like, what's going on? Now, the first time this whole situation was brought to our attention was Uzi. Amongst other rappers were rocking upside down crosses. Now, Offset, he didn't like that too much, right? He started calling out people saying, look, man, y'all out here worshiping the devil, and I don't like it. Now, people started to go backwards and forwards with Offset. And I remember one time Uzi responded back to Offset with a picture, right? With a smiley face, an upside down cross on the smiley face with another upside down cross saying 6-6. Six, six. Now Offset responded to that post saying, I will pray for you, my brother. Little Uzi Vert responded back to him saying, in a trap church, huh? I'm going to pray for you. There's more, man. There's more. There's more. There's more. Now, a year ago, I did a video on Uzi, right? And his fans were asking him, did he sell his soul? Now, he responded back to them saying, I sold my soul for you guys. And he also told them, they going to hell too. Tell me I sell my soul. I sold my soul for you. For all you motherfuckers that's on here, that's asking me, to, that's asking me that I sell my soul, why the fuck is y'all on here if y'all think I sold my soul? Y'all coming right with me, you dummies. Now, last week, Uzi did the same exact thing when I reported that to you guys. Right now, obviously, all y'all motherfuckers going to hell right with me. So let's get it. And actually, a few people in the gang hit me up about this, but I'm surprised no one else saw this. But we going to be talking about this first. Now, I don't know what Uzi is into, but this might just tell you. Now, you guys see the picture that Uzi has as his profile picture. Yeah, that guy right there. Now, that guy looks a little creepy to you. And I'm not going to lie, man. He's pretty creepy. But his name is Marshall Applewhite. Now, Marshall Applewhite was actually a cult leader. Now, he ran a very big cult, man. At their peak, they had around 200 people. Now, I don't know if like, if you guys know this or not, but with 200 people believing in what you believe in, you can do something special with that. I'm just saying. Now, the name of this cult, or what people call it now, is called the Heaven's Gate cult. Applewhite manipulated them to believe that a comet was going to hit Earth and it was going to wipe out everything, kill everyone. But before that happened, he told them that they needed to make their way onto a goddamn spaceship. And this spaceship was going to save them and everyone else on Earth was going to be wiped out. Now, on the day they made plans to get on this spaceship, all right? By the way, this took place in the 90s. They dressed up in all black. They had like some very nice Nike shoes. I think they're called like Nike Decades. And they, by the way, they bought those shoes for like $10. But if you try to buy those shoes right now, I think they're worth like thousands of dollars, man. Now, before they decided to jump off in their rocket ship and they were all dressed up snazzy, they got some Kool-Aid, mixed it with some alcohol and some kind of chemical that they got from Mexico. They laid down in their beds, they drunk it, and they never woke up. And about 39 of them all committed suicide because they believe that's how they were going to make it onto the rocket ship because the comet was going to hit Earth. Now, along with all the other allegations of Uzi maybe worshiping the devil and the upside down cross, him telling his fans that they're going to hell, Uzi is rocking the picture of this guy that died by suicide with his cult now a little bit more information on apple white man he was in some weird stuff man because you know he was into like man booty and i'm not saying that's weird but listen man he liked him some man booty you know he was also rocking with the woman booty but what was really weird is that him and six other of the cult members 
to really show they were really about that life. You know what they did? Uh, they went down to Mexico and they got their pickles cut off. Yes, they got castrated so they can fight their urges. OK, he was trying to fight urges from men and women. And that was like one rule in the code is that you couldn't have sex. You couldn't drink. You couldn't smoke. You couldn't do none of that stuff. OK, and uh, yeah, <laughs> pretty crazy. Like I said, this is who your boy Uzi is rocking as his profile picture. And let's not forget, the only person that he's following on Instagram right now is Marilyn Manson, who has proclaimed Uzi as Lucifer. You guys let me know what you think about that in the comment section below, man. Oh, and by the way, isn't Uzi like with the whole alien and like UFO thing too? I know I've seen him like tweet out pictures and stuff of ufos and using the emojis of aliens and stuff isn't he isn't he about that stuff you guys let me know in the comment section below man